Are you living in a dorm or have a very small apartment? Are you on a budget but still want to cook for yourself? You know what? I got you. No kitchen, no problem. We can make breakfast, lunch, and dinner with a microwave and a little bit of creativity. Check this out. Life can be a struggle, but a good meal doesn't have to be. We can make creative, nutritious, and inventive dishes that won't break the bank. Welcome to Struggle Meals. I often talk about living in the future, but the truth is we've been living in the future since the microwave came out. It's been decades. Even if you don't have a full kitchen, you most likely have one of these guys. And I'm gonna show you how to make breakfast, lunch, and dinner with only a microwave. Start with breakfast. I'm making a crustless quiche. This is one of those things, texturally, that's perfect for a microwave. I'm gonna come in with a tiny bit of cream. This could very well be a little bit of creamer from a coffee bar. Coming in with a tiny bit of cheese. Got a few slices of ham here. A little bit of spinach because I have it. Again, not something I would just go out and buy if I'm making a microwaved meal. I'm more thinking about the salad bar at the cafeteria or something like that. I'm, you know, just a little bit of accoutrement. Let's whisk it up. Crushing those eggs. A little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. For those two things, I'm imagining the little paper packets of salt and pepper, you know what I'm talking about. And now, the magical power of the microwave will do its work. Three minutes. Three, two, one. Ooh, ah, coming in, all right. This looks good to me. If anything, the microwave gives this some fluff and pizzazz. That is really good. Mm! It is glorious, it is epic. A superior breakfast made in a microwave. I'm so happy. This is only 93 cents, which means you won't find it on a dollar menu because it costs less than a dollar. It's lunchtime and that means microwave mug pizza. You heard right, the soft texture of the dough is gonna be great. It's gonna remind you of grandma's pies. That worked. All right, this is pre-made pizza crust. Let's get some discs happening here. I'm gonna put roll number one in the bottom of the mug. And this is some tomato sauce. So how did I get this? It could be extra dipping sauce for uh, mozzarella sticks. It might be two ice cubes of frozen tomato sauce from the last time I made tomato sauce. You'll figure it out, I have faith in you. I got baby pepperoni. I've got a little bit of cheese. I'm just gonna break it up with my hands. Gonna hit it with a little bit of salt. Gonna hit it with a little bit of pepper. And I happen to have some oregano, but make it the herb of your choice. Oregano. Package over for some hot pepper. All right, I'm just gonna use half here because we're gonna put some on the second layer. A Little bit of oil of olive. Dough going in. Getting a little secret sauce. Some pepperoni. A Little bit of cheese. A little pepper. A little salt. Rest of our red pepper flakes. Tiny bit of olive oil. And you know what? I'm actually gonna put like even the thinnest little piece of cheese more since this is the top. Into the microwave. Three minutes. <sighs> I will now play for you the world premiere of the song that I wrote about the microwave. Oh, microwave, I don't know how you work, but I really like what you birth. You were the first kitchen tool that I ever used, microwave. Three seconds to pizza, two seconds to pizza, one second to pizza, pizza! Here we go. Come to Don Frankie. It is supreme. Pizza mug comes in at 93 cents, and the lowest priced pizza I've ever seen in my life is a dollar, and they use inferior ingredients. It's time for dinner. I assume you want something warm, something nourishing. How about a chicken pot pie? This is the perfect vessel to make that in a microwave. Starting with a little bit of chicken broth here. I'm going with three tablespoons. One, two, three. I'm gonna add a little bit of cream to that, mix it around, and this is gonna heat up in the microwave for just a minute. Microwave in broth, ba -ba -ba -ba. Microwave in broth, ba -ba -ba -ba. All right, we have some hot liquid. So this recipe is for those of you with a kitchenette, a tiny little kitchen, but a kitchen that actually has some ingredients in it. So let's start with a little bit of cornstarch here, boom. And we're gonna mix it up. So it's important when you don't have a measuring device that whatever you use, you keep using so there is some constant. I am using three heels of the fork. And just make sure that that's fully incorporated. A Little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Coming in with some onion powder. All right, putting in the chicken. Could be leftover chicken. Peas and carrots. These can be straight from the freezer. Lifting again, trying to get the bottom to the top. 
You know, weirdly, just because you might not have a full kitchen, you probably still have the opportunity to grow your own herbs, and I encourage you to do so. I'm gonna put some parsley in. I always thought parsley was good in like a hot soup, wintry, nighttime kind of dish. All right, let's put the parsley leaves in. I'm gonna put them in whole like this. I'm gonna give it one more stir. So there's our chicken pot part. Now we gotta get the pie part. Again, this could be anything. It could be a croissant roll. It could be unbaked uh, rolls of bread. Wow. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a design. Six minutes. Waiting on pot pie. Faking a pot pie. Bah, bah, bah. Microwave pot pie. Ooh, it just exploded. Ooh, there is some serious height happening. Can I take a little peek? Can I show you? Maybe, ah! Look at the top. Release valve, quick! Everything is fine, put it back in. Waiting for pot pie, pie, pie. Okay. Woohoo! Definitely smells good. Ooh, ooh, you know, it's it's cooked, it's that's dry. Look at the, let's create a little steam valve here. Here we go. Look inside the pot pie. Very nice on the inside. I'm gonna give this a little stir. Oh, enchanting, glorious, epic. Chicken pot pie in a mug. It's $1.21, we made it in a microwave. Flavor-wise, 100% toe-to-toe with a real pot pie. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner made in a microwave. Real food that was not pre-frozen and reheated. The microwave is more than just a reheating appliance. That is the point that I am driving home right now.